What's up witches? We're going to be talking about when may be the right time to cut toxic people out of your life or to distance yourself from certain relationships, whether that be friends, family, or romantic, because I think it's a really important part of the spiritual process, is spiritual journey and awakening. If you'd like to join my online coven, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to like this video if you like the way I do things around the craft. I always say this, in the spiritualist community, sometimes there's a misconception that you can't get angry or speak your truth if you're wronged. I personally think it's okay to let it all out, tell someone how you feel or if you feel that you've been wronged, and that way you can get it off of your chest and know that you have spoken your truth. I think that there is a fine line between being a spiritual person and being a doormat, and it's important to know the difference. There can be several different reasons of why you need to, for your well-being, cut a toxic or unhealed person out of your life. And there's different levels to it. A big indication of when you should cut a person out of your life is if they are a continuous harm to you, cause distress, emotional distress, sometimes physical if you are in obviously a physical abusive relationship or someone is just bringing negativity in your life in any way. I had a long-term friend and we used to be roommates and we grew up together and knew each other since we were very little and it was a very painful connection for me to walk away from but I looked back and I thought wow you know she's been my only source of drama for the past what decade and she would just bring this energy around and you know sometimes act mean girlish to me and that was a painful connection to walk away from but ultimately better because that avoids problems in the future that I feel like this connection will bring. Now, someone bringing harm and negativity in your life could be intentional, or it could be unintentional, or it could be, you know, who that person is dating or what kind of energy that they're surrounded with. But either way, it's something that you no longer wish to be a part of. Sometimes it can be a friend that can be an energy, a vampire, drain your emotional, spiritual resources, or you know maybe want rides everywhere or something like that that's getting in the way of your goals and your ascension in life sometimes it can be friends growing apart having different points of view or even someone that your friend is dating that is bringing distress to you or you know the boyfriend's acts or the people that they're surrounded by or just the energy that they're bringing unintentionally that can be a reason to distance yourself but you can remember the good memories that you guys had together because everyone is put in someone's life for a reason sometimes it can be a lesson if it's a very negative experience a lesson for them a lesson for you sometimes these connections can be really volatile very painful and when the connection is that much more painful, especially if you have a toxic close family member like I do, I've had to cut my mom out of my life this year and it's been one of the most painful things that I've ever done. And some people in this lifetime refuse to change and it's not your responsibility to heal or fix everything. Right now, an act of self-love is focusing on you and not being surrounded by certain energies. I found that my relationship with my mom was only a source of pain. And, you know, not for lack of trying. It's important to try and cherish relationships if you really love someone. But there always has to be a time to let go. After cutting out my mother from my life, my life has very much improved, I'm happier, I worry less, I am more focused on my goals, I've got more energy. 
you pray for the other person, pray that they heal, pray that I heal, that I can move on, and that's a good way, especially on a Tuesday. Tuesday is good for spell works involving conflict. Or on a new moon, what I love to do is if you don't feel like contacting them, write a long letter of everything that you would like to say to them. And using a black lighter, because it soaks up negative energy, on a new moon, you can ceremoniously burn that letter. And you can mix in different herbs, you know, maybe sage or rosemary. I personally don't do hexes or cord cutting spells or any type of spell if I'm having a conflict with somebody because I don't really think that's necessary. I just distance myself in the physical world and then I use my energy for spell work for my own healing and my own blessings and helping myself learn life lessons from these situations. At the end of the day, everyone is their own protagonist in their story and you have to remember that. You may feel hurt and wronged and the other party, of course, has their version of what's going on and it's okay for everyone to have that storyline and feel like they're the protagonist in the story, but the most important part is to just let it go and know that, that you're doing this for you. This is an act of self-love. If you would like a private reading with me, you can email gettingwitchywithit at gmail.com. Thank you for letting me into your home. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be part of my online coven.